Hello, I'm Yoko, and we're back with more Fakemon. Today I'll be showing you my early route Pokemon that are in pretty much every Pokemon game. You know, like the rodent, the bird, and the bug. <laughs> uh, been on a bit of a hiatus, but you know, that's just how it be sometimes. But anyway, let's just get into the video. <laughs> We're going to be starting with our early route rodent, which actually isn't a rodent this time around because it's opanic, based on an opossum, and the word panic. <laughs> also, reminder since I haven't mentioned this in a while, this region is loosely based on California. Um, opanic is a normal type Pokemon that I doodled a long time ago, and I couldn't get the goofy look that I drew out of my head with the tongue sticking out and the swirly eyes. <laughs> Overall, the design is very simple, and it's I wanted to keep it very round and, I don't know, like, I don't know, it looks like it can make a cute plushie, maybe. <laughs> um, I just, I, I love the swirly eyes, and I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and read the Pokedex entry so you guys get what I'm going for. Opanic are cowardly Pokemon, and due to their body's natural response, they have no choice but to play dead when spooked. So yeah, this Pokemon is very scared of most things. Also, for those who don't know, when real possums play dead, they're not really playing, they can't, like, control it. <laughs> uh, but yeah. The first stage will ironically have the ability Runaway, which contradicts the, uh, what I just said. But don't think too hard about that, Pokemon contradicts itself a lot. <laughs> Um, but you know. Also, this line is a physical attacker, but yeah, here's Opanic. I hope you like them. I personally think it's very cute, and I have more to say of its evolution. Also, I made the shiny red for reason. Sorry for the interruptions. My dog was barking. <laughs> but anyway, let's move on to the evolution. At level 20, Opanic will evolve into Pospector, a combo of both Possum and Spectre and is now a ghost normal type. Uh, I had this plan before Hisui and Zora and Zorark, which by the way, those are really cool looking, but you know, oh well. <laughs> I'm still gonna use it. <laughs> I'm going to start with the Pokedex while you remember the previous one. Pospector have played dead one too many times and now feel they have nothing to fear. Instead, they love to spook others. <laughs> yeah, this Pokemon line is basically a uh, roadkill. <laughs> Um, I wanted both of their faces to kind of look like a skull, and with this evolution I added more ghostly roughed up things, taking a piece out of the ear and ha have like their fingers and feet and the tail and making it like resemble bones, but like not too explicitly because this is Pokemon, but you know. <laughs> I also wanted to keep the tongue sticking out, but now it's sticking out from presumably a missing tooth in its mischievous smile. <laughs> uh, the thing that I'm not sure I conveyed well in the drawing because my style, like, I feel like if this was done in, like, the actual Pokemon style, like, 100%, it would look better. But it's supposed to have, like, <laughs> it's supposed to be split in the middle and be connected with, like, a ghostly material in the middle that has, like, a, a mouth-like pocket that can, like, smile and, like, open up and stuff. Because opossums are marsupials. <laughs> um, I made some really rushed doodles demonstrating this since it's hard to show off in the one picture. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, as for the ability, in the previous evolution, it had Runaway, but as it has evolved now, it now has Guts. And the the entire line has the hidden ability Moody. Eh, eh, I don't know. Um, I personally really like this line, and even if I know they're early route Pokemon and probably not that good in the long run, I still hope you guys would enjoy using one in, like, a theoretical game. Also, the shinies are red because Roadkill. <laughs> Morbid, yes, but I think it's cool. Moving on! Next up is our early route bird, which I based on hummingbirds. The fairy flying type, Hummody. A combo of hum, hummingbird, and melody. I wanted to go super round and cute with this design. I, I think I default to round and cute a lot, but you know what? It's fine. They're cute. So I started with a base circle just to get a general idea. As for the stuff outside the main circle, I made its wings more fairy slash butterfly-like instead of standard bird wings, and also added some tail feathers. I kept the feet really small, and color-wise, I kept everything a sort of pastel version of what actual hummingbirds with a bit of darker, like, I added a little bit of a darker pink pop, like a magenta-y. <laughs> and when I made the shiny later, I made them basically a more saturated version and changed the pink to white. <laughs> Uh, I really like pastel colors, 
And I based this on, I believe, the Anna's but hummingbird, I think. Uh, I probably should double check that, but you know what? Too lazy. <laughs> also, unrelated, but when I finished this, um, I had this done for like weeks. And I've been looking at it, and the first stage looks like it's in a grape, which I find funny, but it wasn't intentional. Anyway, Pokedex time. Homodi are very small and fast Pokemon that help pollinate flowers and hum sweet songs while zipping around. So yeah, here's Homodi. They're a speedy special attacker, and I'll go over the abilities and stuff in the evolution. Uh, hope you think they're cute. <laughs> uh, Homodi at level 20 will evolve into Zoom Tune. <laughs> It's a pretty self-explanatory name. Now that they've evolved, they definitely have a more hummingbird-shaped body. Um, to add more pizzazz to the general design, I added some plumage slash petal-like designs around their neck and a border on the top of their now much larger wings. And in this drawing, it's hard to see, but the outer part of their tails is still the darker pink, but now the inner part is, like, lighter. There's not too much to say, so let's just get into the Pokedex entry. Due to Zoom Tune not staying in one place for long, they help create colorful trails of flowers with their enhanced nature powers. I'm gonna be real, these Pokemon could also feel like grass types, but it's not the first fl flowery Pokemon that's actually a fairy type. Looking at you, Flabebe and Comfey. So you know what, I'm sticking with it. <laughs> they don't actually control flowers, they just help them. I don't know. <laughs> As for this line's ability... They will either have Early Bird or Honey Gather with the hidden ability Speed Boost. Also, I'm going to say right now that there is another bird Pokemon in this region that I'm thinking about, but I didn't want to make that the regional bird because it might be like a split evolution or potentially use the gimmick of the region, but I need to think about the gimmick more in general because I don't really know what it would be right now. I have a vague idea, but you know it. With that said, here's Zoom Tune. I hope you like them. I love saying their name. I didn't really look up existing hummingbird fake mon, but from what I remember, there's a lot of them, so I hope this one stands out enough. Now let's move on from the final evolution in this line. No. Now let's move on to the final evolution line in this video, our bug line. <laughs> Starting with the bug poison Magoo, a combination of maggot and goo. And please know Mr. Magoo jokes. It's spelled dis differently, and I've already said it right now, so I took your thunder away. Anyway, <laughs> I know there's a lot of bug poison types already, but there's a reason it had to be bug poison, at least in my opinion, with the existing types we have. So this line is based on a normal-ish housefly, which are everywhere, and I'm surprised they haven't done by now. I think cutie fly is like some kind of bee fly. Or, wait, is cutie fly a hummingbird? The dogs have interrupted me so many times in this recording. <laughs> anyway, um, if cutie fly is a fly and a hummingbird, uh, oops, but uh, I did it differently at least. Anyway, <laughs> um, with that said, Magoo is just like a normal maggot, basically. And yeah, usually so references of the real life counterparts, but I know for a fact that a lot of people hate bugs including me, so I hope you don't, like, you, d you appreciate the fact that I didn't make you look at maggots. <laughs> and with that said, uh, Magoo is pretty simple. Basically just a drooling maggot baby and I added legs. <laughs> I kept it white with pretty bright, toxic-looking green spots of color. Let's get into the dex entry. Magoo spend most of their life eating anything they can find, allowing their toxic spit to break down anything too hard to chew. So yeah, teething baby. They're a special attacker and I'll get into the line's abilities at the end of their entire line. So yeah, here's Magoo. I hope you like them and they're shiny, which I love. Ben 10 vibes, I will admit. But with that said, let's move on. <laughs> at level 7, your Magoo will evolve into Bunka, which was me trying to combine the word pupa and bunker, but it honestly just sounds like a British person saying bunker and I find that funny. So that's what we're going with. I based the stage on a fly pupa as well. Like, you know, and a containment barrel for uh, radioactive waste. Though with that said, this is Pokemon, and let's pretend that it's not actually radioactive. Um, I'd say this design is pretty simple. I have the eyes peeking out in a slit of the pupa to make it more alive looking, as well as what looks like some escaping toxic material that kind of looks like antenna, but 
But that said, I didn't even, like, <laughs> flies have really, really small antenna, and I didn't even include that into the final evolution. So let's just say this becomes another part that stays this color in the future. But with that said, let's get into the Pokedex entry. Bunka contain most of their toxins inside them while they stare. No. <laughs> of course I fail at reading. Okay, Bunka contain most of their toxins inside them while they store energy to become their final state. <laughs> I'm so good at reading. So, you know, a pretty simple cocoon-like state. You can also probably see the theme I went with now. <laughs> but yeah, here's Bunka for the shiny. I just inverse the orangey yellow and the really dark green. Now let's get to their final stage and the last Pokemon in this video. At level 12, your Bunka will evolve into Nuclefly, a combination of nuclear and fly. And now I can explain why I made this line in the first place. <laughs> I thought fly faces kind of looked like gas masks. Mask? Ugh, I can't say that word. And then I thought of something that I'll explain in the dex entry. Nuclefly release toxic gas every time they open their mouth, but their spit is even more dangerous and corrosive. So yeah, I really like the idea of having a gas mask that was somewhat reversed. <laughs> so like the toxins were on the inside. I don't know. It, I hope you get what I'm going for. I'm bad at explaining. So design-wise, it's pretty simple, I think. The mask and legs are dark green with a black body, and that lighter part on the end of the gas mask is actually their mouth that can open up to release poisons and stuff, which are supposed to, like, you know. <laughs> and I illustrated that with some uh, doodles that are also really rushed, <laughs> which I also illustrated that the back of the wings is supposed to look like the radioactive symbol. And I know this is an early bug, but I honestly fell in love with this line, which I find funny because I hate flies in real life, they're so annoying. Oh, and as for abilities, <laughs> they can either have liquid ooze or swarm, with the hidden ability, corrosion. Which I know is kind of Solandit's lines thing, but I thought it was too good to ignore. Uh, with that said, here's Nuclefly. Since they are now black, their shiny is now white. It has become full circle. <laughs> I hope you guys like all the Pokemon in this video, and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. And if you guys have any ideas for stuff to make into Pokemon, keep in mind the region is based on California, though. <laughs> I have a bunch of ideas that I still want to get out, and I'm going to try to get a video out around once a month. <laughs> but with that said, uh, I hope you guys liked this video. Um, if you liked it, I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment. I love hearing what you guys think. And with that said, I'll see you next week. <laughs> Peace.